Hey everyone, I just, I'm going to try to make this video again because it was getting way too long and I don't feel like editing so I'm going to compress my conversation. How am I doing? I am doing well. Well, well, technically I'm doing really well, but it's a hell of a lot of work to keep that up. <laughs> um, officially as of tomorrow morning, I will be 14 days of no eating disorder symptoms at all, nothing, not even anything restricting, nothing, and 14 days of following my proper meal plan. Um, as a result, that's what's creating, following my meal plan is pretty much what has stopped most all behavior, so it's working, and it's early days, and I know there will be slips along the way, recovery is not perfect, but I'm excited because it's working and it's starting and I am working out. Um, I joined the Y in, <coughs> sorry, in January, I guess around the 9th of January. Um, I'm working out four to five days a week, sometimes six, depends on four to six days a week. But it just depends on how I feel. I don't push myself. I listen to my body and if I'm too sore that day I will actually take a day off like today um I was technically it's my day to go to the Y but I, my body was so sore that I took an extra day off and I will go tomorrow um it's a crazy routine because I get up at like 5 6 a.m. to get to the gym for 7 because I bust it all the time. I, I sometimes bust it, so I sometimes have to leave at the house at like 6.20, but we will see. I really love it. It makes me feel really good. It's helped my mood. It's helped my anxiety. I sleep better. It's helped me physically. I am losing weight. I'm not going to say numbers yet until I'll do a video around March 9th, 10th, because that's my official eight-week Weigh, I only weigh myself once a month, so I will let you know where I'm at. Um, but my clothes are fitting completely different, and I feel better. And I got to the point where I was such a high weight that everyday things became really difficult and painful again. And when people who are obese can relate to more, when they're super morbidly obese, when just simple walking and going up a stair or down a stair or Getting off the couch can be very difficult when you're at a certain weight, and it's hard, and it's painful, and I got to that point again, and it scared me, and I decided that I just have to do this, and it's a primer day, and I do listen to my body, so it's not like I'm forcing myself like I used to, and through the pain and through sickness, I took a week off before when I was sick, so like, yeah, like, it's just a healthy exercise, and I'm really loving it. Um... I can see a difference in my body, so it feels good. Um, I'm trying not to get obsessed with the numbers of weight loss, and but it's a fine line, and it's very hard to not fall into that trap of numbers and goals. And I just want to get my body healthy. That's all I want, um, and get to the point where everyday activities aren't such a chore or so painful. Um, my joints have been really bad this last couple of months. Some days it's hard to exercise because my joints are so sore, but I'm working on it, and the only real solution is weight loss, so I push myself through the pain if it's not too bad, and I will exercise because it's going to help eventually, and yeah. Um, recovery isn't easy. I kind of live in the strict, crazy OCD kind of bubble of routine and meal plan. Like, I eat, this, I try my best to eat at the exact same times every day, and if I stray from that, I freak out. But, though, my big word of the, of my life right now is flexibility and learning to be flexible, that life isn't rigid and strict, and follow a fine line of perfection. It doesn't do that. So I'm learning to be flexible in meal plan and in life and in thinking. It's really hard. It's a lot of therapy and it's a lot of challenging a lot of my fears. Because I think right now my, my strict routine is keeping me in recovery and it keeps me from slipping. But it's my control. Because the food was my control before, this is my control now. 
Um, and when you change that control, it, it feels like I'm out of control when my when I have to change my routine, and I don't like that. Um, so it's hard. It's, a, it's 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 not an easy thing to do to let go of that control, to let go of that fear, to live in the gray zone of what life as therapy calls it, the gray zone. I've always hated the gray zone, and ironically, I'm wearing all gray today, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um. I just realized that. But it's clicking. Things are I'm realizing that I can lose weight and be in recovery. I can get my body healthy and not do the eating disorder. Um like it's actually working. So like I feel I have never felt this good in my life. And looking back at my journal when I for treatment I was so miserable and I was in such a dark place and I hated everything. I still hate my body and I despise my body and my body image is probably the worst it's ever been. But I feel good inside. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I can learn to cope with life. I'm learning not to use food to cope with emotions. Emotions don't kill you. As I was terrified of all emotions before, now I can feel them. They're not comfortable to deal with, and sometimes it hurts, and it's painful, and I cry. But then I also get through it, and I learn that I don't need to turn to food to do it. So, it's been a really long journey since July, but it's the best thing I've ever done for myself. It's come a lot slower than I expected. I think I expected too much coming out of treatment, that I would be fixed or cured once again. I get that weird parallel in my brain that, oh, I'm fixed now, I went to treatment, and but no, the work really starts here at home. Yeah, so that's an update. So 14 days of true recovery, so that's the start. I'm excited and proud of myself because it was really hard at first. To get through those first seven days was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, it took conscious effort and rigid routine to not slip and now it's the more I do it the more days I continue the easier that routine gets and I'm a little afraid because I'm going on vacation next week and change in routine I'm giving up my control and I'm going to have to be flexible and I'm going to be eating out and it's going to be a challenge but that's life I want to I want to go to vacation see a few friends down there it's only an hour away it's not like I'm leaving the country but um I want to not worry about food. I want to not worry about recovery. I just want to relax and enjoy it and and truly have a good time. <coughs> um, so it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge to give up that control and go with the flow and just enjoy it. And I can stick to a routine to a point. There is a gym there so that I can get in a small workout if I feel like it so like yeah like uh, there is possibilities of doing this but it's just gonna be a challenge to live in that gray zone so that's it so I hope everyone's doing well and if you wanna ask me questions or do more videos leave comments leave questions and thanks for watching have a great week guys love ya